Hello friends, so in this video we are going to look at one very important sexually transmitted disease, anogenital warts and I hope you all of you know that the causative agent is human papilloma virus 6 more than 11 and in the given options drug of choice is definitely topical podophyllin application and the other options acyclovir it is oral antiviral medication which is used in the treatment of herpes infections whereas option c lamivudin it is a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor which is which can be used in the treatment of hiv as well as hepatitis b so now let us go into the details of this podophyllin so basically this is derived from an extract from the rhizome of a plant which is called as may apple which is also called as podophyllum peltatum so this is that plant and most importantly you must remember that there are no oral medications in the treatment of human papilloma virus this is point number one which was asked in AIMS exam and the treatment of the human papilloma virus producing anogenital warts can be divided broadly into non-pregnant women and in the pregnant woman so in the non-pregnant women and also in the males the treatment can range from podophyllin resin application or we can also use imiquimod the mechanism of action of these two is uh, slightly different. So, in the case of podophyllin resin, the it is going to act on the metaphase and thereby cause metaphase arrest. Metaphase arrest. Whereas imiquimod, it is an immunomodulator and this is going to act upon tall like receptor dash agonist so i want all of you to comment what is this number so i will give you the options five six seven eight among these four numbers imiquimod is a tall like receptor dash agonist one of these numbers is the answer please put your answer in the comment section okay so and in the case of pregnant woman pregnant woman pregnant woman both the Podophyllin as well as imiquimod are teratogenic and they are to be avoided. So, in the pregnant woman, we are left with two options. One is cryotherapy and the other one is trichloroacetic acid application. So, I hope this video was helpful. If so, please do hit that like button, friends. And this is tomorrow's MCQ hydrogenated separator was most commonly found to occur in 426 followed by our answer in the comment section. And these were the students who answered it right in yesterday's, you know, uh, question. Very good. So, if you wish, if you know the answer for the 426 the question, please put 426 for your answer in the comment section. You can follow me on Instagram and Telegram. I thank you so much for watching this video till this point. Happy learning. Myself, Dr. Madhuri Shinvas. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanam Sarvachana Sukhino Bhavantu.